Kabibis, welcome to another episode of Big Otilio Vlogger! Good morning mga Kabibis. Today I am very ecstatic because I am going to create another video for Big Otilio Speaks. Remember last week I published a video on acronyms and that's under the segment of Big Otilio Speaks. So this is about English, communication skills, effective communication, yada yada yada. Right? Now, because that video has earned, actually this video, this video over here, okay, because this video has earned 300 views, I am going to have another similar video that you guys may just like, okay? And I'm very thankful for everyone who has seen the video, the first video. I've actually gotten very good feedback as well from people who have watched it. They love learning fun facts about English, and this is what I have promised you guys. This second video is something worth watching. So if you would like to learn more fun facts about English, just stay tuned. So before we start, gusto ko lang mag shout out kay Christian Ian Oriola. Thank you for your support. Here is his profile. He is now a newly licensed financial advisor so if you would like to check out some insurance plans okay I think he's the right person to go to okay you can check out his contact details <laughs> thank you Christian and best of luck to you this video this time is something that would give you an idea of uh, names of things that we didn't know have names so, ito yung mga bagay-bagay na kala natin walang tawag, walang pangalan. Siguro nag-invento lang tayo ng mga tawag sa kanila. Pero, there are names to these things. And it's very interesting, quite interesting to know kung ano ang itong mga bagay na to na may tawag pala in English. Huwag niyo na akong asahan sa Tagalog kasi <laughs> hindi ko rin alam ang tawag sa kanila sa Tagalog. I can just share with you things that we thought didn't have names in English. So to get the ball rolling, things that we never thought had names, number one, I'd like to start with this. Okay, so yan yung kanal dito sa baba ng nose. Diba? So we just call it kanal, uh, area between the nose and the lips, parang ganon. Pero it is really called philtrum. Okay, remember that. Filtrum. Okay, P H I L T R U M. Filtrum. Diba? Kakaiba. <laughs> so, how do we use filtrum in a sentence? Oh my god, I have a pimple. Yeah, right above my upper lip. Yeah, right on my filtrum. Ayoko na lumabas. Ang arte, no? Masarap tuktukan. Pero, that's how you use filtrum in a sentence. Things we never thought had names number two. Ito siya. So, yan yung protruding part ng umbrella. Yung tusok. Kumbaga. Diba? Yung the one on top of uh, the umbrella. That's what you call a feral. It's called a Feral. So, how do we use feral in a sentence? Alam mo, kayo nakapang maingay eh. Kung hindi ka titigil, tutusukin talaga kita ng feral ng umbrella ko. Makita mo. So, for our number three things we didn't know have names, can you guess what this is? Dan is yung either plastic or metallic covering sa dulo ng lace. Okay? And that thing, or that part of a shoelace is what we call aglet. It's aglet. So, let's now use aglet in a sentence. 
Ma! I can't put the lace into the hole. The aglet seems broken. Napaka-spoiled. Nasira lang yung aglet ng sapatos. Kailangan magsumbong sa nanay. Di ba? For our first bird, have you ever wondered kung anong tawag dito sa malalim na part ng glass bottle? Parang ganito. Tawag dito sa part ng bottle na to is punt. Punt. P-U-N-T. Punt. Now, let's use punt in a sentence. Mm. Hi, friend. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, actually, we need to help me over the whole. Oh. So, I'm going to tell me, what is a punt? Ano ba yan? Mag-research pa ako. Let me look it up on Google. One semester later. O ito ang sabi ni Google, glass blowers used to create punts to push the seam of a bottle up, allowing the bottle to stand upright while preventing glass at the bottom of the bottle from sticking out and cutting people. Okay? For our fifth word, it is very interesting. Kasi even I didn't know this had a name. So, can you see this? The lowercase i and the lowercase j. Di ba meron silang dots on top? So, have you ever wondered what those dots are called? They're called tittle. Tittle. It's T I T T L E Tittle Nakakaloka no pati pala yung dots na yon meron pa palang tao So how is the word tittle used in a sentence I am uh, reading your composition you sent through my email And yes you again forgot the tittles in your J's and I's Oh my god so for our sixth word, guess what this is. So that one is commonly seen in window panes. So it is basically what we call a mountain. Mountain. It's M-U-N-T-I-N. Mountain or mountain, okay, if you want to pronounce the T. So, it's basically called a mountain bar or a sash bar or a glaze bar that supports the panes in a window. So, sila yung nag-hold ng mga different window panes. Parang ganun. Hindi ako karpintero, pero ganun yung pagkakaintindi ko. And dun sa image kanina, ganun din yun. Okay? Huwag na kang kumontra. Basta yun na yun. It's called mountain. At huwag na natin gamitin sentence kasi hindi naman tayo makakaroon. Okay? For our things we didn't know have names number seven, I want to show you this. Do you know what this is called? Di ba we call it the infinity symbol? But it really has its name. It's called a lemniscate. Lemniscate. L-E-M-N-I-S C-A-T-E Lemniscuit Awesome! Diba? <laughs> now let's use Lemniscuit in a sentence. Hello? Yes, could you just make sure that there's a Lemniscuit in the logo? I want that incorporated, please. Okay? Thank you. Our eighth things we didn't know have names is this. Ito, itong part na to. Do you know what this is called? The part of the face that's above the nose and between the eyebrows. This is what we call a glabella. Okay? Glabella. G-L-A-B-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. Glabella. Now, how do we use glabella in a sentence? Get it lang Nakakainhis! Meron akong blackheads, whiteheads sa glabella. Ano ba yan? 
for our ninth bird, let me challenge you with this. What do you call this? Diba ito yung symbol na ginagamit natin para nag-divide divide tayo? Say, 4 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2. <laughs> Alright? So, it is uh, the division symbol. Right? And, you know what it's called? It is called obelus. Obelus. O-B-E-L-U-S. Obelus. So, alam niyo na, na ang tawag dyan ay obelus. So, let us use it in a sentence this time. Okay, class. Can somebody tell me what an obelus is? No cheating, huh? Wala mag-research. Just let me know what an obelus is. Anyone? Sir, ako po, um, an obelus po is uh, a horizontal line with a dot above and a dot below that is used in ancient manuscripts po. Tama po ba? Tama ang sagot mo. Magaling. And you're doing your homework. And finally, our tenth things we didn't know have names is this. Teka, tanggalin ko muna yung nilo ko. Ay, na lang pala kapila. This one, do you see the lines, the creases, the wrinkles? Yan, yung mga lines sa wrist nyo. So, tignan nyo yung mga wrist nyo, di ba may mga linya-linya dito? Para ganito. Yan. So, yan yun, di ba? Ang tawag dyan is reset lines. Reset lines. Okay? May mga nagsasabi na yung mga lines daw dito uh, is used in palmistry and the uh, number of wrinkles or lines that you have on your wrist represent the number of years you're going to live. Hindi ko alam kung totoo, pero sinasabi nila na this is what it represents. So now, let's use reset lines in a sentence. Miss, miss. Yes? Kayo mo nakita yung wrist mo? Why? Wala lang, may titignan lang ako. Tingnan ko kung ito yung future ko. Yay! Oh my God. No, hindi ako ang future mo. Kasi my reset lines are very fine. They're not very defined. So you won't be able to see that future of yours. I'm sorry. So there you have it mga kabibis. Dagdag kaalaman na naman po from your Bigotelio Vlogger. And I am very happy that I was able to share, you know, something that I know to you guys. Alright, I hope this would help you in any way. These are actually good to know pieces of information that could actually help you build up your vocabulary in English. If you vlog code today, please do not forget to like and subscribe and push on the notification bell para update you sa aking mga ganap. Okay? This has been your Bigotelio Vlogger saying, live life to the fullest. Goodbye!